Welcome to another mega exciting five minute auto pairing. Let's see what happens here. So, five minute auto pairing. And let's have a go. Um, so, Yardbird again. Oh, excellent. <laughs> I've just played him. <laughs> oh man, he's probably not looking forward to playing me again. Maybe he's going to abort. Um, let's try an annoying bishop g5 system. Is that going to be. Or Fianchetto King's Engine? Is he playing King's Engine? Alright, let's, let's play Fianchetto King's Engine. Queen's Engine here. I think I've had this sort of setup against him before. Do I let him b5? Maybe maybe it doesn't matter. Maybe I play c5 with a play. Alright, so c5 might be interesting to try and undermine his pawn structure. Maybe b4 here. Takes on d4, knight takes, d takes. B4 or something else. ED, I'm crumbling, aren't I? So let's just go with this. There's bishop g5. Maybe that's useful for a pin. Um, bishop g5. I don't know. Maybe he just plays h6. Is this is this ridiculous? My development seems lagging almost uh, after this. Uh, bishop h4, g5, do I sack a piece? I could do. Um, speculative. Or just take on f6. If I take on f6, maybe that's better to follow up with d takes. Try and get rid of his dark square bishop. Well, that's not going to happen. What about d5 gives up, gives up the c5 square? So he's good on the dark squares here. Oh, that's great. Anyway, I'll try and yeah, not give him the e5 square in a hurry. So queen e2. No, no, I'm going to give him e4 potentially. What about just taking a knight d5? Or knight h4 to f5? Just, just go to knight h4 to f5. Wasn't just winning a piece there or anything. No, nope. knight f5. D takes. Maybe I've got time for d takes. And then knight f5. His bishop moves. Well, I think queen e2, bishop c5. Against bishop c5. So knight f5, bishop c5, queen e2. And it's got things like bishop a3, bishop b4, all sorts of discoveries. I don't think, okay, knight c4 is on b2, queen, queen e2. I wonder. I'm weak on the dark squares potentially, so bishop c5, queen e2. Just a nanny f2 for a moment. Now, I've got that nice knight on f5. I could reinforce it to be able to play knight d5 later. So g5, I'm weakening even more dot, um, squares. Um, that's annoying. It's got bishop b5 coming up. <laughs> I can't really do much here. Can I? Knight <sighs> d5, I'm going to lose a piece on f5. It's bishop b5, that's really annoying. Queen f3, I guess. If g6, knight h6. Keep a rest on the clock here. So knight e3, knight g4, queen g6. 
so any little tactics or anything. This diagonal is nasty. What about trying to play rook c1 soon or knight d5 again? Rook c1, knight g4 here, knight e3 to g4. Bishop f1 is an idea to get try and get rid of and torture this poor b pawn over here. I think this knight e3 for knight g4 is tempting. <clears throat> Okay, so knight e3 to g4. Uh, g6 is annoying with that pin. What do I do with g6? Don't know. There's a4. There's bishop f1. No, I need my queen protected. Uh, it looks. It looks like. Uh, what about knight g4? G6, just knight G4. Then knight G4 here. The knight's given that square. He's got queen. I've got knight takes H6. Hold on a sec. Knight takes H6. This one takes H6. I don't think the other one's particularly as impressive as simply taking that because I'm on F7. I'm controlling F5. Well, there's knight f6 now, queen h6, king h6. But he's going to play f5, okay. So h4, he's got f5. Mm. So maybe knight f5 open up this title. There's rook d1 taking, plays f5 takes. There's rook e5, fg. So I've got stranded knight on h6. Um, rook d1 takes, takes, e takes, g takes. Nope. I don't know what to do because this bishop's really strong. What about attacking the bishop? Hold on a sec. I think that's the problem because I, otherwise I would have had queen e3. That was queen. There's queen f6 here. So if I get in this check, then I'm going to take on c5. I'm getting the queen off, then the knights are protecting each other, but I'm 40 seconds down now. Um, Anything else to point out here? Bishop e7, I take. Hope for the best. I'm catching up on the clock here. He's thinking a little bit here. Check. Okay. Choice of knights, but get rid of his bishop. Got e5. Yeah. Um. I can go for that seven franc. Ah. Uh, knight d7. No, there's no knight. Bishop f1. Try and get d7. Try and get rook. He's got these pass pawns. These pass pawns are too strong. Hang on, there's rook d6, g6. Is that a method? No, it's passport. Rook b7 is probably needed. Rook b7. Try and stop his pass pawns. Rook d6, rook g6. Okay, where's the knight going? Rook g6. Will he spot that? Maybe he thinks I'm just doing rook a6. Check. Here. Stopping his pawns for a moment, okay. Knight. Alright, protecting f2. Oh, there's rook takes b4, hang on. Rook takes b4. No, no, I've just blundered. Ah, it was good until then. <laughs> ah, time warning. Ah, I've, I've I've messed it. Oh, that was that was good up to that point. Oh dear. Okay. <sighs> uh, exciting.
but uh, rugby one night c3 I, I think is <sighs> did my clock f just flip back I thought I had less time than that yeah I think this is hopeless let's engine it here yeah it's I thought it's hopeless I have to get up the exchange um, but yeah earlier it seemed like a lot of fun um, let's have a look at this so Bishop e3 actually don't have to give up the dark sky Bishop I'm just wondering about e4. That's okay. This would be. Oh, there's an interesting move here. Knight here. That's okay. Apparently, tactical. This, this. I'm just weak on the dark squares here. Um, yeah. It's it's not a big deal. It's really not a big deal apparently. I think he might have faulted though around here. This is okay. Check. Yeah, I was doing well here. Check. And so there's also Bishop F one. Check. Again, Bishop F one, maybe that's to be preferred for some reason. Rather than taking on E five. If the bishop if the rook moves Take how I mess, mesh his pawns totally before taking on e5. Or just e5 is there for the picking. That would be much simpler to play uh, than what happens here on the queen side with his b pawn. So even though I did take out one of his pawns, so he's, he's basically getting two pass pawns. Okay, so this is. Oh. Why is rook d6 so much stronger? I wanted to try and you know play for the doubling of rooks. I think rook d6. So I've got this rook g6 on on the cards here. All right. So in the game. Now this is again Check. good for me. But what do I do here? So rook g4 is indicated. Why? Why? Oh, because the knight takes f7. His, he hasn't got b3 just yet, and that protects also e4. Very good move. So I guess he's in a bit of bother here. Rook f4. Yeah, I'm going to be winning that f7. So I think it was was good there, technically. Now, actually, after that, after that move, I've just dropped e4, and he's on f2. So I'm, I've been too worried about his pawns and not about his pawn here winning his pawn versus worrying about the pawns here but it's only like less than a minute to the side these this things but he's actually on e4 that's the thing he hasn't got b3 he's on e4 so rook g4 ticks all the boxes it seems for knight takes f7 yeah so rook f4 Why not knight takes f7? I wonder here. Oh, there's rook takes f2. Check. Apparently, that's. Yeah, it's not so clear. And I can end up losing everything here. I have to play. Um, oh, apparently, this is okay. Uh, this this pawn ending is okay. My king's over there. Yeah, it's, so I'm winning that one. Alright, but. Um, so rook g4 was the move. In the game, I drop e4 and yeah, b he had b3 here already because there's knight d2 tactic now. Right. So rook b2. I think that and that's terrible. So apparently rook b1. And so if b2, I suppose knight c4 or king e2 is okay there. And if knight a4 here, king e1. But yeah, it's difficult to play these positions. And if here rook b2, is he not making progress with b2, king d2? Yeah, it needs total precision really. That's unfortunate because I had some fun there on the f7. Okay, comments or questions on YouTube? Thanks so much.